I'm Wes Dooley from AEA Ribbon Mics and Preamps. Preamps? We're known for ribbon mics. We've been doing that since 76 for service work on RCAs when they got out of it, 84 when we started servicing BBC design microphones like the 4038. What's been the commonality through all this? We needed preamps. We needed preamps with more gain. The ones that I grew up with when I started going to AES meetings 50 years ago. We needed preamps that were as quiet as possible. We needed preamps that would work with dynamic microphones, whether they be ribbons with the resonance very low and therefore the kick up and the output impedance down with our mics at 16 and a half hertz with RCA 77s around 50 hertz, or with the multiple changes of impedance like a moving coil microphone like an SM57. All of these microphones, especially those that neither want nor need phantom power, sound best if they're matched with a good preamp. RCA even had an engineer who wrote an excellent 19 55 paper about the subject, about the state of the art at that time. In the early 2000s, we started looking at what could be done and working with some gifted designers to come out with a ribbon mic pre. And our first one, our basic no phantom power for people who neither want nor need phantom power and the microphones. This TRP, the Ribbon Pre. This preamp is used by people doing all of John Williams' work. It's rated as the best ribbon preamp in the world. We have people taking it on the road. Bella Flex, harmonica player, Willie Nelson's. Willie Nelson's harmonica player said, I took it in because I was just so excited about how good this thing sounded to rehearsal. And the guy said, oh, you have a new microphone. And he said, no, it's this preamp. And they went, oh, OK, you are going to bring it on the road. I learned about it because he called and said, I better have a spare power supply. When you're on the road, those sort of things are important when it's that important part of your sound. So we have built up a real body of experience with a variety of microphones, ribbon, dynamic, and now condenser microphones, because if you're going to make a phantom-powered preamp like our RPQ series, which also has all the EQ that you want for ribbons to tame the proximity effect, to extend the high end past 20 out to 30, 40 kilohertz, and keep it flat. Well, you're now working with a whole lot of convenient and very useful power if you're doing recording. And so we now have that in a 500 series format. You're looking at an API lunchbox. We have that same RPQ in a one rack space preamp, the RPQ. And we have it set up as Sean Murphy said with uh, his work over at Warner Brothers where we do well with condenser mics. He had it up on the Neumann M50s on the Decatree above the orchestra for the three days that he first tried it. And he now runs six of them in Iraq. So we're working with an approach to preamps that builds on the problems identified in the 50s and then uses the tools we now have with JFETs, with transformerless designs, where we can have bass down even below the sub 20 hertz that our ribbon mics deliver. And we can also give you 80 plus dB of gain. Everything in a convenient package for every mic and a wonderful adjunct to the tradition we work with, with the big ribbon mics. To learn more about AEA products, call your sales professional at Full Compass or go to www.
fullcompass.com. Thanks.